Okay. So, okay, what we're, we're delving into here is just functions in the fascia. So, uh, we're going to be assessing to see if he has a long kinematic chain. This is a Golgi dysfunction in fascia. So if we test, turn this way just so you're on the, on the edge. Mm -hmm, perfect. Cross your arms, bring your legs together. We test his abdominals. They're strong, strong, and strong. So abdominals are strong, obliques are strong. This is one way to test abdominals. But if we make the lever a bit longer, testing, come down a little lower, testing here, he's still strong, yeah? But if we test here, he's so weak. Try a little harder. Try harder. He's so weak. So one way that we can know this is a long kinematic chain, UTL, but that negates the weakness. So this tells us that on a high level, we have a like, long kinematic chain, the Golgi dysfunction. And we're stretching the fascia, and it's causing weakness along the line. So what we can do is we can switch to an indicator. And we can try and assess where this kinematic chain is. So it, it could be a superficial, could be deep, could be uh, superficial in the neck, deep in the, in the torso, or vice versa. But the way that we can assess this is by stimulating in two points on that uh, Golgi line. So if I, I'm going to have two finger contact and there. So he weakens in those two points. Touch here, yeah, two fingers, a couple fingers. So if he just TLs, it's strong, but if he stretches, it weakens. TL plus stim weakens. Now I can trace the chain. So I can trace the chain. I'm going to go this way first, and I'll go back to the, the, this side. So if I, if I stretch towards here, he weakens, he weakens. If I go to the other side, Left rectus, he's fine. Fine there. But if I stretch here, he weakens. I can see, does it go down his leg? Stretching here, nothing happens. Nothing. This leg, it could cross over, not this side. So touch the pubic symphysis. He's strong, just TLing alone. But stim to two, TL to one, stim to another, he weakens. If um, if we do a double stim here, take your hand away, that's strong. So there's a secondary. Likely that's our main secondary. If you, uh, let's have a universal TL here. I'll just find there. That's strong there, but right there weakens. No TL. This might be our other end. Single stim is strong, but double stim weakens, primary. TL the pubic symphysis. Double, strong. So here are two ends. So it travels here, down through the neck. Let's see. But it's deep to the, to the ribs. Nothing here. So it goes through the rib cage and comes back out. And we have weakness along here. So when we challenge enough of the kinematic chain, either we have to find the right exact line that will challenge the chain, or enough of the stimulus giving a, a stim on um, a distal point. So our, our muscle test will change a little bit to suss out and to discover these sometimes. And your muscle test may be slightly different than the standard, you know, like middle deltoid test. You may motion palpate. So I motion palpate and I feel tension in this line. So it's not really posterior delta strong, Middle delta is strong, but when I tension this line, he weakens. And that negates it. Long kinematic chain there. And so we can feel that in the fascia just by often we can motion palpate. You can see maybe they're avoiding a particular motion. They become weak when they do this particular type of activity. One of the things that we're going to think is could be a fascial dysfun dysfunction in Golgi's, okay? Well, what about long kinematic chain and um, what are the two called? Meridians, like they tend to put all ones together. Um, 
meridian science hasn't fully figured out what meridians are, mm -hmm. um, but they, they haven't figured out what they are. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. So these are, these are certainly Golgi functions. And they can, they can travel from, oftentimes it could be endpoints, like pubic symphysis, could go down to the toes, to the head, but you might also find ones that are just this long. And even a, a stretch on enough of that chain, multiple secondaries, will cause weakness of all indicators, including the muscles related. Okay. okay? So we'll treat this, and then we'll reassess. So we know that He's, he shows weakness if we test here and there as well. If I test here, he's strong because I'm not stressing the chain. If I test here, he's also strong. You see that? Easy, right? Mm -hmm. So pubic symphysis, treatment, there, pressing, yeah? And then we'll reassess. Touch there again. If for some reason we, we only brought it to basic, obviously the main secondary and the primary would still be there. Stretching is strong. Uh, let's go to UTL. And that's strong as well. Yeah. And then reassessing the muscles, cross. Now, very strong. Very strong. OK? Awesome, eh? So this is a big player for Many, many dysfunctions will be caused because of weakness when this is in place. So this dysfunction, like anything, will cause weakness. When this is challenged, then it can cause more receptor dysfunctions because of that inherent weakness that this is causing as well. It's possible. Okay, long kinematic chains.